Hey, welcome to yet another state mandated meal break. And this one is going to be a little bit less lovely than usual. I'm kind of fucking pissed. I'm upset that people don't understand what the actual most dangerous thing to our democracy, well, not our democracy, our representative republic is. Which is more dangerous, the Second Amendment or the First? Ask yourself that question. The answer is as plain as the nose on my face. No, actually, it's as plain as the beard on my face. The answer is the Second Amendment is not nearly as dangerous as the First. Period. Not even close. Think about the First Amendment and what it entails. Freedom of religion. Okay? Look, religion can be a beautiful thing. It can also be a terrifying thing. It's been used to manipulate masses of ignorant people for, well, since the beginning of humanity, okay? So what you do with your religion is beautiful. What it can do is terrifying, okay? I love Father Yah. I do. There is a God, period, okay? So what I do with that is I try to take care of my family. I affect change on the macro level. And I try to help the people around me that immediately need my help and that deserve it, that have done anything to help themselves. So that's, that's the specter number one of the First Amendment, freedom of religion. Massive people, to massive amounts of people can be whipped up into hysteria or fury. That's one. Second, it gives you the right to assemble peacefully. Um... I guess unless you're a conservative, because then, you know, you're, you're a, I guess, a domestic T-word? Yeah, you're a domestic tango for wanting your rights to be preserved. Anyway, I digress. So that, you have people can be whipped into a fury, then they can assemble, oh, wait, but by far the most terrifying aspect of the First Amendment is freedom of press. Now, that gives you the ability to affect change on the entire populace, especially when um, all of the media outlets currently in use, the major media outlets, are owned by four corporations with extreme liberal leanings, okay? Don't get me wrong. You can puke that stuff up all you want. That's cool. That's your right. But... Uh, now they're censoring and hunting people who voted for Trump? Yeah, no. We have that same right. Now, what makes freedom of the press really terrifying is that the major influencers and the major sources are all left-leaning. That didn't used to be such a bad thing. When the Fairness Act, which was, uh, imp uh, which was adopted in 1949, I believe, uh, when it was finally gotten rid of in 1987, you see the correlation in how fast our society has gone downhill since then. So the fairness doctrine, sorry, um, what it was, uh, it was a doctrine that actually legally mandated that press outlets present all of the information in a fair and unbiased fashion, or as close to that as possible. No buzzwords, no hysteria, and they had to present both sides of the argument. Well, now, fast forward to 1987, and that's gone. What happened since 1987? How much douchebaggery was put out since that day? How much effect has that had on the minds of youth? I mean, how much has it affected our entire society? It has allowed an entire population to be shushed, pushed out, shunned, hunted, doxxed. And it's even allowed politicians like Cynthia Johnson to encourage her followers to kill people with impunity because the media is run primarily by the left. And she happens to be an insane 
leftist. Now, don't get it wrong. Don't get it twisted. There are some good Democrats out there who have conscience, who have some class, some intelligence. There's a difference between a Democrat and a libtard or a leftist. Okay? Um, I think, honestly, the centrist Democrats are just as afraid as everybody else of these fucking moose knuckle retards. And they should be. Their own... One of the things about the left is they never fail to eat their own. Okay? So, speak up in a mob like that and you'll be just as dead as a white supremacist at a BLM riot. I mean, honest to God, if this gets demonetized, fine. Well, actually, no. I can't. I don't have enough people to be monetized. And if it gets taken down, fine. Hopefully my 10 or 11 subscribers will will see this and appreciate it. Point is, the First Amendment is by far more dangerous, especially since 1987. There is no equality. The press now can lie with impunity. They can twist the facts with impunity. And that's on both sides. I get that. But 90% of the media is owned by the left. And when I say 90%, I mean that's actually a statistic. Look it up. 90% of major media outlets are owned by left-leaning corporations. And those corporations, there's four of them now, I believe. We're down to four. So four corporations get to influence 90% of the media. That is not a formula for fairness, balance, unity, or peace. You want to talk about no justice, no peace, it's coming. Just wait. Just wait until the people who don't want to be involved are finally forced to do so. And uh, here's another little nugget for you. The press is now blaming veterans for the breach at the Capitol. Really, guys? If a veteran chose to enact a plan to breach that Capitol and take down these people, there'd be nothing but a pile of steaming bloody ashes. So, no. It wasn't vets, dude. We fought for the freedom of this country. Well, I never deployed, but I wrote the same blank check. Um, These people fought for the freedom of this country and the freedom for you to shoot your stupid mouth off. So, no. No, it wasn't vets. Not at all. You guys disgust me. It makes me furious beyond all comprehension. You You see that line right there? You see that scar right there? Yeah, that's what happens when Papa Bear gets pissed. I'm done with y'all. The left, you know what? I'm done. I'm not going to mince words anymore. I'm not playing. Any liberals who might happen to see this, yeah, dude, approach me with ill intent. I dare you.